Now we all know the importance of differentiation and we all know we must differentiate. But how do we do it? Well, there are three ways you differentiate through the secret of differentiation. Now the first way is to create a unique product offering that's exclusive and has immediate discernible value. Now when we think about technology today, what product comes to mind? iPhone. iPhone, iPhone very unique, stands alone and above the crowd. However, product differentiation is not sustainable as a competitive strategy over a long period of time. The competition will come in and knock off the product or they'll offer features that are not available. Even in my own situation a few years ago, I had a product that I actually had a financial patent filed on. And within 18 months, the competition knocked the product off. Now, they didn't violate my patent. What they did was they duplicated the benefits and features that I brought to my clients. So remember, product differentiation is not sustainable over a long period of time as a competitive advantage. The second way you differentiate is to create a process that is not easily duplicated. It's not what you do, but how you do it that creates value to your clients. In, in my days of consulting with major companies, we used to say, when people say, well, what do you do and how are you different from the competition? I'd say it's not what we do, it's how we do it that brings better results to our clients. And then we'd sit down and show them each step of our defined process and show them how we did that. Now recently, McKinsey did a study and they basically said people are out being solution providers. And I would venture to say if I surveyed this room, you would all say that you bring solutions to your clients. However, without a defined process, you're really not a solution provider. You're simply looking for a problem and you're bringing your solution behind. 60% of the time, according to McKinsey, the plan ends up in a status quo, who is your biggest competitor. Nothing happens. I would venture to say you lose more business with nothing happening than you do with someone beating you from a competitive standpoint. And it's because of the process. Now, is the process that important? Firms operating from a sales process or methodology double their revenues during 2008 to 2010. So I would say it's very important. Best sales organizations have found you can't lead with products, services, product services and solutions. They all look the same to your prospect. Instead, you must first present the prospect with a compelling story about their business. And then you need to lead, with your, lead them to your differentiation. Don't lead with your product, lead people to your product. 